Moving on. The woman once referred to as Hanoi Jane, telling a group of Vietnam vets to get a life. That's a quote. As they organize a protest over her role in an upcoming film. Today, we will speak live with the man who is organizing this effort, and he's got a bit of a response to Ms. Fonda. You'll hear it here live. The man behind the effort, Larry Reyes, is the founder of the Facebook page, Boycott Hanoi Jane, playing Nancy Reagan. Uh, Larry, thank you for being with us. So the movie is called The Butler, and it's about this butler at the White House who's, you know, spanned several administrations. And they've got a bunch of left-leaning actors, because that, that may be redundant, <laughs> uh, playing former presidents and so on. John Cusack, I think, is going to play Richard Nixon. Uh, right. And they've recruited Jane Fonda to play Nancy Reagan. First, just tell us why you find that so objectionable. Well, first off, I want to give uh, honor to uh, my brother-in-law, Pete Wright, who served in Vietnam and was killed. Um, you know, well, from an early age, I was taught about what uh, what she had did in Vietnam, and uh, I had never endorsed her in anything uh, in my entire life. Uh, when I had found out that uh, I was on the computer and I had found out that she was going to play Nancy Reagan, that was just, to me, that was enough. And I, I had talked to young people at my work and, and other places where they didn't even know who Jane Fonda was other than they thought she was an exercise guru or, uh, you know, starred in stupid movies, and that's all they knew about her. So when I when I talked to them about her, they were like, "Wow!" So when I saw this, when I saw that she was going to be playing this part, I decided to go ahead and, and say, "Let me see if other people feel like I do." So I made this page to to boycott it. I knew it wouldn't get, you know, that they wouldn't change having her in the movie, but I wanted to see if enough people were as mad as I am about her portraying uh, uh, Nancy Reagan, and they are. And these and pictures, let me just what? jump in, these pictures are of Jane Fonda on an anti-aircraft gun with the North uh -huh. Vietnamese who were fighting us uh, back and during the Vietnam War. And she was also giving out, yeah, and she was, she was actually sending radio messages out to the troops, demoralizing them and stuff, you know, and she tells me to get a life or tells the vets to get a life. There's 58,000 names on the wall of soldiers and sailors and military men that have died that don't have a life. I wonder if that even makes her think, and it doesn't. Let me tell you what she says. She says, look, I have expressed regret for this picture in this moment. Um, I have apologized. She says, I don't apologize for fighting the Vietnam War. I didn't want to see any more dead American soldiers. I was trying to help end the killing, is her quote. But she admits that she was thoughtless and careless about the way she did it and says she's sorry she hurt them. She's sorry she hurt vets and, and you know Americans who were so offended by what she did. Can there be, you know, no redemption, no forgiveness in the wake of that? Not 16 years later. You know, really, you don't apologize for treason. You should go to jail or even be shot. And I'm not saying that should happen to her, but she never really paid the price. Or even, you know, the apology uh, from what I heard was in New England where she apologized to New England uh, vets because she was filming a movie there. You know, 16 years later and we're supposed to go, okay, no problem. You know, the thing that because really Because the picture was in 72 more, and the apology was in 88. Go ahead. That, yeah, that's ridiculous, you know. And, and look at what her quote is right now. You really think she is any kind of remorseful? She's not. And we know it. And when I made this page, and now as many people that are on it right now, I'm not the only one that's not going to forgive or forget. So, you know, I'm not going to go watch any kind of movie or buy anything with her in it. But I hope the American people can go ahead and make their own choice and maybe say, hey, you know what, we've had enough of, of her and maybe not go see this movie, and I hope it bombs. Just uh, FYI, in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, she said of her casting, well, if it creates hoopla, it will cause more people to see the movie. I figured it would tweak the right. Who cares? Larry, we shall find out whether anyone does. Thank you for being <laughs> here, sir. Thank you for having me. All the best to you.